DCAP pins break. It's a fact of life. The DCAP sends for Mark 7, ensures that the buck stops there. Gavin Gu here from UltimateReloader.com. I'm here with John Vlieger from Mark 7. In this video, we're going to talk about DCAP sense. We're going to show you what it is. We're going to install it on the machine and demo it in action. So that looked pretty dang easy. Yep. Remove the factory decap chute with the two 964 uh, bolts. Mm -hmm. Install the decap sense, plug her in. Mm -hmm. You may have to do a power cycle of the unit to get yep. it to recognize. Okay. But just turn the console off, back on, you'll be operating. Awesome. So people always ask what it's supposed to do. So yep. I'll show you. Yeah. And we have a brand new, no primer case, and we have a fired case with a dead primer in it. Yep. Just going to throw these down our case feed, one after the other. Do -do -do. Get that case ready to get decapped. There we there go. There it is. Now we can turn on decap sense. I'm going to let the machine run twice. Dead primer kicked out. No dead primer. Boom. Stops halfway up. Gives you the operator the warning. No ejected primer detected. Mm -hmm. Gives you the chance to correct a malfunction. So the first one passed mm -hmm. because we did decap a primer. Exactly. The second one was the brand new case. Mm -hmm. Boom, we stop before we get any further along. Yep. The yep. sensor is looking for something falling past it during yep. the window of bottom of the stroke. Yep. If it doesn't see that, it's going to stop the machine. Very cool. So to fix this, all we have to do is hit OK as my preferred method and hit end cycle. Tool head will finish the stroke. Mm -hmm. I can then grab this guy, take a look. Oh, no, it did decap because a brand new case got sure. in your case feeder, for example. Yep. For a variety of reasons. But then we can just turn the sensor on or off on the fly and get mm -hmm. back to operating. Very good. <laughs> I like it. Yeah, so this is one of many sensor videos that John and I are filming together during this trip, so you're gonna to wanna to check out the rest of those videos as well. Don't forget, if you have a question about this or some feedback, drop a comment. We'd love to hear your perspective. That concludes this video, and that means it's time to wrap it up. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, we're on Facebook, YouTube, Rumble, where we've got unrestricted content, and Instagram, make sure to follow us on all those channels. Ultimate Reloader also has a commercial solutions division serving law enforcement, the military, and the gun industry. We have some unique capabilities, including a comprehensive suite of recoil testing and evaluation capabilities, trigger profiling, and more. If you're interested in custom rifles like what we build here on the channel or gunsmithing services, you're gonna to wanna to go to rifles.ultimatereloader.com and get on the wait list. If you're interested in becoming a professional gunsmith, check out the Sonoran Desert Institute. They've got a degree program, they've got a certificate program, and you can study from home. Learn more at sdi.edu. Thanks again for watching.